So in macro exams, unemployment often figures prominently in all kinds of different questions. What I've done here is I've taken three questions on unemployment, multiple choice questions. Let's see if you can get all three right and we'll go through the right answers together. So here's our first question. Unemployment in an economy increases. What is a probable consequence? What is a probable consequence of a rise in unemployment? Here's your chance just to press that pause button, have a go at the question. I'll be back in a few seconds with the right answer. So what is a probable consequence of rising unemployment? What did you put for this one? The correct answer is D, an increase in the government's budget deficit, the fiscal deficit. Basically what happens is that an increase in unemployment means there's a fall in the real incomes for people and families who lose their jobs. They therefore pay less to the government in direct tax, income tax for example. They pay less in in indirect taxes, for example VAT. So the government gets less tax revenue and the state also pays out more in welfare benefits, including the job seekers allowance. So this combination of the fall in tax revenues and the increase in welfare spending is going to cause the government's budget or fiscal deficit to increase. So the answer here is D. Let's check out the second question. Have a go at this one. What is the opportunity cost to society, to society, of an increase in unemployment. Press the pause button, have a go at the question. Let's see if we uh, we share the right answer. So what's the opportunity cost of a rise in unemployment to society as a whole? Well, all of these are costs of unemployment, but what's the opportunity cost to society? The answer, best answer there is clearly, hopefully, B, the loss in national output. Opportunity cost is the loss uh, the sacrifice, of course, and the opportunity cost of society of increasing unemployment is the is the fact the output of goods and services the unemployed might have produced is lost. Uh, had they been in work, unemployment is therefore a dead weight loss of scarce labour resources. That time cannot be recovered, and that causes an economy to operate well within their production possibility frontier. That's the cost to the economy as a whole, the opportunity cost to society. So that's question two. We've got room and time for one more question. Have a go at this one. Real output in an economy increases by 2.5%, but at the same time, the level of employment, employment falls. What can you deduce from that information? Have a go at the question. So real GDP has gone up by 2.5%, that's output, but employment, number of people in work has gone down. Now, from that information alone, what can you deduce? Well, you can deduce that B, labour productivity has increased. And here's the reasoning. We normally measure productivity, which is a measure of efficiency, by output per person employed. Simple formula is total output or real GDP divided by total employment. Well, we're told that output's gone up. And if, employment, if output has risen and employment has stayed the same, has remained static, then average labour productivity must have increased. Output per worker must have gone up for that to be the case. So that's why the answer to this question is B. So there we go, three separate questions on unemployment.